the Light Warrior Radio Network. I'm your host, Dr. Karen Can, author of the number one bestseller, Guide to Healing Chronic Pain, A Holistic Approach. And the intention of this show is to help empower you and inspire you to manifest the life of your dreams, whether it's radiant health, prosperity, loving relationships, or simply peace of mind. And if you're new to the Light Warrior Tribe, I invite you to go to my website, KarenCan.com, to receive your Light Warrior Empowerment Package, which includes the Clearing and Protection Spray Formula, as well as seven of my Fast Track Your Healing classes, webinar classes that you can actually download along with the notes for many of them, uh, absolutely free. And, of course, uh, the first six chapters of my best-selling book, Guide to Healing Chronic Pain, and our new Facebook group, a fairly new Facebook group, Light Warrior Network. I invite you to be part of that as well. There's no cost to join, and we do some fun things every week, and I do some Facebook Lives uh, every week, and um, you can ask for support there. So, in case um, you know, some for some folks, you know, they're in a place where it's it's challenging. You know, money is tight, things like that. This is a great way to get connected to our community, so you can get that energetic support from everyone, all those loving other light warriors, and the tribe. So today with me is Peter Shank, the modern day mystic, and uh, Peter's a good friend of mine, and uh, we're both energy healers, and he's always pushing the envelope, which is what I love about Peter. You may have heard of some of the other radio shows we've done together about his amazing computer software, the Source and Aquaware, and, uh, and he has a whole bunch, but those are the main ones that I use and love. And uh, the way of, you know, manifested uh, cash using the source, uh, thanks to Peter. And now I can do it without that, but it's really, really cool. I loved doing those experiments. It was so fun. And the Aquaware with, like, whatever it is, like a thousand different, you know, preset intentions uh, all programmed in there. And everything from, like, you want to, you know, the frequency of frankincense that's in there. You want the frequency of, like, removing portals that's in there. Why? Because I asked Peter to put it in there. <laughs> He's awesome about that. I asked him a whole bunch of different things to put in the Aquaware. And so I'm really into that software, and I love charging my water with uh, all these different frequencies and yeah, as an energy healer I have you know products myself where, where you know infused energy is there and but uh, not everybody uh, necessarily resonates with using like software like some people just aren't computer people like my husband's one of them like he'll use it because he has to kind of thing but it's not like something he wants to do every day so for him he's not going to necessarily use the computer software no matter how powerful it is however uh, we met Peter recently at Kathy Homer's uh, Lodge on Lake Clear, and uh, Peter gifted James this necklace called the HFA Mini. We'll talk about that in a moment, what the HFA stands for. And this um, this necklace, uh, it's this copper, beautiful, beautiful copper necklace. It's very fascinating because it helps to absorb negative energy. And uh, I know with James, he will tend to sometimes like detoxify with, uh, you know, anger emotions when he's doing healing. And it was really fascinating because this uh, necklace was very, um, you know, shiny and copper, you know, the copper was really shiny. And Peter showed us his necklace that when he goes to a big city, sometimes it starts to tarnish. And I thought, well, isn't that fascinating? You can get feedback on with the energy around you and where you're going, how you're healing. So we went to Toronto not too long ago, and we went to this martial arts class. In this particular location, I actually hadn't done any clearing on it. I just didn't think of it. I was on vacation. <laughs> so, but I noticed that there were like three healers in the room, and every one of them was having some sort of weird ache and pain that day, that night. And I thought, you know, I better check this. So I went ahead and checked it, and it was interesting because I was like, wow, how come my clearing vortex of light didn't clear it? But what I had to do was understand what was underneath the surface of the earth, this amazing catacomb network of these Stargate portal, whatever those things were, that I had to know about before they would clear because the God team wanted me to understand how they worked and why it was you know, affecting us. So I did do that clearing, uh, but we looked at James's necklace, the HFA Mini, and it was black. I mean, it was so tarnished. And it we'd been in the city for days, and it wasn't like that. But after going to that martial arts studio, it was black. And I was like, wow, look at that. So we actually took pictures and sent it to Peter, and it was really amazing. So he loves wearing He gets his feedback when he's healing, when ugly stuff is coming out. It'll start turning black, and then we'll polish it up again, and then so he can get feedback. So for some people, it may be really, really helpful to have some of these physical energy healing tools to give them feedback on what's going on. And so uh, Peter has been creating all sorts of physical products lately, 
So we're going to have a real fun time today with Peter talking about that, and you can call in to ask some questions about any of them or anything else. If you want to do you know, anything else about energy healing, the number to call in, and we'll be unmuting people later, is 818-514-1190. Just hit 1 so we know your hand's up. Again, 818-514-1190, and I'll also open the chat so you can ask questions through the chat as well. Welcome, Peter. Hey. Hey, Karen. It's good to be back. How are you? Yeah, it's great to have you back. Thanks for doing this. Boy, you have been a busy bee the last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, you, you know. Wow, you got a whole bunch of products. Well, you you pretty much nailed it. I mean, you know, I've been pushing the envelope with, with software for the better part of a decade. And, you know, working with people and receiving gifts of physical products over the years kind of gave me some ideas about possibly creating a physical, a physical product. And, you know, the very nature of what I do allows me to see energy and everything. And energetically, I'll know basically the speed of thought if it's going to work or it's not and some products that I have received are amazing and 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 others are you know just not so great and for the last couple of years that just has just pushed me down a path with a veracity that I have never known to create some of the most mind-bending products you know this field has ever seen And um, you've experienced some of them. But before we get into any of that, I'd like to do a water blessing, which kind of sets the mood and the stage for the show. So with that said, if everyone could get a glass of water, please. If you have bottled water, that's fine. And they can even imagine it in their minds, right, wherever the water is, if it's not right in front of them. Yeah, but... Typically, um, you want to get the water inside your body because it really opens you up to the conversation in any of the energy or the frequencies that are being transmitted. I'd like everyone to raise their left hand over that glass of water about three inches and spread your fingers. In a second, you'll start to feel that energy run down through your hand into the water. And if you're new to my work, you'll understand that Energy that's in physical form or non-physical form gets very excited when you acknowledge its existence, and that's exactly what we're doing. In a second, you'll start to feel that energy run down through your hand. It can come in many forms. It can be straight-up lightning through the hand. It can be a warming sensation, any type of physical sensation. With that said, I'd like you to put your attention on the water and repeat these eight magical words out loud. I honor the space in which you exist. I honor the space in which you exist. Now you'll start to feel the energy run down through your hand a little bit stronger. It'll increase over time. So what we've just done is we have acknowledged the conscious creation in the water. And now it's primed to you know, deliver the frequency of just really goodwill getting into a good space for the show. Like everyone to go ahead and drink as much as you want. Notice the taste and the texture. Soft. <laughs> That's super silky. <laughs> mm-hmm. Silky and soft. Yeah. I love it. So, yeah, so over the last couple of years, Karen, I have been you know, just pushing, as you said, the envelope on all fronts. And, you know, the physical creations that have rolled out of my head into fruition um, are just doing amazing things for people. And pets. Well, I have a funny story to tell you. (laughs) (laughs) Now, the uh, HFA was uh, one of the first... um, you know, one of the first physical products of of late. That's for the for the car, and uh, it's beautiful. This this beautiful you know copper square, and it's got the you know um, uh, the golden ratio etched on it. It's absolutely beautiful, and and so we got one for for James's car, 
Um, and then when you were here, you uh, taught us to, you know, how to link it properly or to make sure that it's linked properly. It was really great to have you there, just so you know, James has that confidence he can link it to his car. And I did. I don't think I told you the story, but uh, you know, you mentioned to us that whatever needs to happen for healing will happen to, for, you know, like that one case you talked about. This woman basically avoided an accident by changing lanes, and then all the stuff fell off this truck. It could would have hit her and killed her possibly, but it's like she knew to change lanes before that happened. Well, right after we saw you, Peter, we were driving home. It was dark, and uh, you and James had had uh, some tequila, which you did the the whole blessing on us as well, which, of course, he had much, much less of a reaction than he normally does with, with hard liquor. <laughs> tequila, and, um, what's that? Wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, Peter's like, I didn't know you were going to tell that story. So anyway, so we're driving home, and we get stopped. There is a police stop. Their check is a sobriety check. Can you believe that? Like, James hardly ever drinks, and, and hardly ever drinks, like, hard liquor, right? So here he is. He's had a tequila. Thanks to you, you get, you actually bought it for him, and he's driving. And I didn't even think because he, he, I didn't even think of like, I mean, this is hours later, right? I didn't even think of like me driving. Like I figure he ate a big meal. He's fine, you know. I didn't even think of it. So we're there, and he stopped. And I thought, well, that's interesting, <laughs> you know. After you know, connecting this HFA with the car, and it was a really tough thing because James has authority figure, you know, issues. So um, he basically lied, <laughs> but, um, you know, it was a healing opportunity. You know, it was a healing opportunity because I thought later on, I said, you know, you could have said, yeah, I did I did have a tequila, and so what? Like, so he gets you to do somersaults on the ground or, you know, whatever, walk in a straight line or whatever. So what? You know, breathalyzer, so what? I mean, it could have, of course, easy for me to say. I was the one with the, you know, issues. So <laughs> it was as a bystander, I'm like, yeah, hey, you could have just said yes, and, you know, and um, so the guy, the, the police person kept leaning forward, like, to, to, like, smell his breath or something, and and so it was a healing opportunity. It didn't go the way I personally wanted it to go, of course, uh, but we, we got, got him thinking about, hey, you know, I, I next time, how am I going to handle this next time? Like, I could just tell the truth. I could just have you drive. I could, you know, like, all these different opportunities for healing. So sometimes the healing is not what we think it's going to be, but what you really need. So that's what's really cool about some of your technology. It's really what's for the highest good. Sure, absolutely. So, you know, for a decade, uh, uh, you know, I've been pushing software that has the ability to instill intent into water or modify your reality to bring into fruition that which you desire. And I wanted to start getting my feet wet in the physical product world. And, you know, they're, they're, everyone wants to exist in the higher octaves. Everyone wants to play with frequencies. Everyone wants to do these amazing things. And, and what they don't really understand is it, it takes work, but the work is fun. Mm-hmm. And when you know they're all like oh wow you're you're so evolved and i'm like i'm not evolved i just worked really hard to get where i am and they're like well where did you start how can i start i don't have any money i want to be a philanthropist for this you know the the, the first thing as a healer karen you see is people always come up with an excuse why they're not doing something for lack of money and it's a it's a it's a joke you want to exist in the higher octaves. The universe will take care of you 150%. And how do you start? You start with an act of kindness. Okay? You smile at people when you're out in the environment. You maybe help with a project in the community. You start very, very small. And what happens is you're raising the vibration right there and then. And when you start doing that, the universe or source instantly takes notice and will deliver a piece of information. Information can come in in any form, really. And Mm -hmm. the important part here is what you do with that information determines if you move to the next octave. So I've been pushing, you know, really fast and furious with software, with new releases and and amazing upgrades and and, and all this. And right around the time where AquaWare 5 was released back in June of 
2016, I was already well underway with my first product. So back in November of 2015, I wanted to create something. I had no idea what it was going to be, but I just knew it had to be bold and it had to be huge. And I didn't know what I was going to make it of. So the first thing that popped into my head were noble metals, right? Mm. Gold, platinum, iridium, rhodium. But who, who's going to pay twenty five, thirty thousand dollars for something which I don't even know what it is? But then it hit me: use less noble metals that are amazing conductors of energy. So then copper popped in, then silver popped in. So I had my two metals that I was going to make something from. I didn't know what I was going to make. So the long and the short of it is, you know, when when you are sixteen and you get your driver's license in the U.S. It's an amazing feeling of freedom. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with it, but for a few years, it's it's absolutely amazing. Now, you know, we're a little bit older. You know, I'm in my late 40s, and I, I used to drive back and forth on some of the worst highways in, in the world to the bank that I worked at for 20 years, and it sucked. So I wanted to create. So the idea of creating something for the car to make the car an amazing driving experience popped into my head. That was another piece of information, and I acted on it. Mm. What can I make? So what did I do? I started designing what became known as the Harmonic Field Amplifier, a new way to travel. And it's made from the purest copper and silver commercially available. It weighs about one pound. It has a spiraling vortex on top that goes right through the center to a counterclockwise spiral on the back. And the idea is the copper will attract all non-harmonic energy in you, in your vehicle, in the immediately surrounding area, wash it through the zero point, and return it as pristine harmonic energy. And once the device is activated, it takes three seconds, the results are instantaneous. Okay, It doesn't take time to see results. It's instant. What takes time is your understanding of what's happening, the little synchronicities that start popping up. So from the time I had an idea in my head to a product in the MDM store, moderndaymystic.com, was nine months. It was a birthing cycle. It's just amazing. The universe cracks me up again and again and again. <laughs> so, so, you know, it, it, this was my first product, and, you know, being – part of the Apple generation, part of the excitement of receiving something that you worked very hard for and to pay for is receiving it in beautiful packaging. And, you know, I have mentioned on a number of different shows that before I started this adventure, there were a few ground rules that I would not deviate from ever. And those ground rules were the, the product has to be beautiful. It has to be simple to use. It has to be incredibly powerful. It has to do exactly what I say it's going to do. And the fifth, which was really important, was the packaging had to be beautiful. So, mm. you know, over the years I've received, I've bought a lot of things and I've received a lot of things. And it never ceases to amaze me the attention that's left out when when something very expensive is packaged especially an energetic device, 50, 60, maybe even 70% of the effectiveness of that device is the communion that happens when your excitement accelerates the, when you're opening that package. So long and short of it was I, I spent a lot of time on presenting the HFA, a new way to travel, in a way that would excite you. It's presented. It looks amazing. It shines. It's just beautiful. And the way it works is the copper will attract all that non-harmonic energy. The silver creates and stabilizes the field to allow that negativity to go through the zero point and then be returned as pristine energy. So once that product was accomplished and in the store, I had achieved a higher frequency of myself. I have raised my vibration by creating something that helps spread more love and vibration in the world and, 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 you know, does everything I said it was going to do. So then I was given the documentation, I call it the download, of creating something even more effective. 
And that was I wanted to take on the home and office. So I created the HFA Plus, the Harmonic Field Amplifier Plus, and it was a much larger unit that removes all the negativity from your home and returns energy as a pristine state. And like its predecessor, it was a phenomenal hit. Then I was given even more information. Now I want to create something that's kind of like a biomechanical device that uses that you know universal energy. And you'll notice everything I create has no moving parts and uses no electricity. It all uses universal energy. So the... HFA Mini was born, the Harmonic Field Amplifier Mini, and it's a beautifully crafted copper and silver pendant that you wear around your neck. You activate it with your left thumb, and you deactivate it with your right thumb, and it does not have any type of coating on it. So when you receive it, it's beautiful. And depending on the amount of negativity, the pendant is designed to attract negativity and filter it long before it enters in your light body or your physical body. And the cool thing about it is, as you described, you know, when you're in an environment where there's an, an, a huge amount of negativity, well, first of all, you're well protected. But second of all, you'll see the tarnish happen literally in your eyes. It happens that fast. And, you know, I've had reports of, of and you, you can go to the website and watch people's testimonial videos and read their testimonials, and there's hundreds of them. The, how the mini will protect these people from negativity. And the tarnishing happens, like, when, like you said, when you're in a big city or you're in an area where there's a lot of people or you're in an area that you feel negative energy. It gets really dark. And, you know, part of the creativity, you know, creating the product, but part of it is the excitement that I get back when people – or utilizing something I created. Now, you know, you, you can, in, in the Western cultures, everyone wants a pill to fix everything. And what I have been preaching for years and years and years is that in the experience is where the learning is. And I've taken that doctrine and I've applied it to everything I create because the products that I create have a just creation behind them. They all have their own little personalities, whether it's physical or energetically, they combine beautifully to create a personality. And when you connect with that personality, these products will work better for you over time. And, you know, part of making a product effective is having the user interact with it. Okay, so in, in your case, when, when I met James and, you know, you brought me to your car and he pulled the HFA out from, you know, below some stuff between the seats, I instantly yeah, in the, uh, spotted console. an area. <laughs> yep, yep. I instantly spotted an, an area that is easy to improve and increase the effects 100% right on the spot. And that is, you know, these tools have that conscious creation. So you don't need the HFA right in the middle of your steering wheel, but where you want to place it in your car is somewhere where you can notice it out of the corner of your eye. And when you're driving, you just communicate with it, and the effects are unbelievable. So having engaging the user in in the experience on a much deeper level by, you know, connecting with that conscious creation brings the power of the products to a whole new level. So after <laughs> the mini rolled out, I wanted to work with animals. And I created the HFA or the Q-Shield for animals, which is based on the same technology. And the first version one that came out was very successful, but it had a couple things that need to be corrected. And one was the weight. The weight was very heavy for a little kitten or a little dog. And because it was made from high-grade copper and silver, people were like, well, I want to wear that around my neck. <laughs> I'm like, well, this is I for animals. So, you know, after the initial run sold out, we went back to the drawing board, and I came up with two more designs 
basically the same design, but one was made from copper composite and one was made from bronze composite. So they were about 70% metal, uh, 30% filler. And what that did was that brought the weight down from about 30 grams to 20 grams, and that was much more a durable uh, because they were coated so your animal could run through the water and and the thing was protected and would work as advertised. And, you know, they've been, they've been out in the wild now about a year. So what you're noticing is, is is a progression in not only responsibility, but adhering to a strict doctrine that if you want to play in these higher octaves, it requires work. But the cool thing is the work is always fun. So after, the Q Shield came out. I said, "Okay, well, what else can I can I get?" And boom, rose popped into my head. I'm like, "What is that? What am I going to do with a rose?" And I was like, "Hmm." And then the word myrrh popped into my head, and I had no idea what myrrh was. And then the word compass popped into my head. Myrrh, compass, rose, and instantly I knew it was a product to clear land of all negativity. And again, like everything that came before it, it was it just, uh, I mean, you've seen this device, Karen. It is it just, it, it, it's stunning. It, 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 the north, the south, the middle piece are bronze. East, west, and the coupler rink are made from copper. And they are grown this amazing patina on them to give it a very aged weather look. So it was like something you'd pull out of the ocean, you know, um, that's been down there for a couple thousand years. And part of the power of the Mer Compass Rose is the, you know, the, the effect that it is ancient looking. And when you link the Mer Compass Rose to your land or a remote piece of property somewhere and you link it, nothing can exist within the space of the rose that vibrates lower, ever. And, you know, it, it, it just, you know, it, it was just rolling out of my head, and I, and I started creating it. So that product debuted back in May or June of last year. And then, you know, I, I started thinking, I am popped into my head. And I'm like, wow, well, you know, I am. I, I, I am. It's your God being. It's invoking all of creation, right? So I didn't know what I was going to create. I just knew I needed to create 13 of something. So in my understanding of how the I am works, there's the I am, I am. You say and it, it puts all of creation on standby. Then you have to give it a road. And the road is I am presence i am love i am unconditional love of self i am safe i am i am and then you have to give it a direction and the direction is always the mantra and there's three levels to the i am and a lot of people don't understand that so when you know they're not getting the full benefit when they activate the i am so i had a very close friend sit down with me and we came up with 12 i ams and you know, I, I always mention how the, the universe is very, very funny on how it delivers these amazing, you know, pieces of information when the timing is right. So we worked really hard and we brainstormed and we came up with with, thir- uh, with 12 that were perfect. And I was like, well, what is the 13? I am skinny. <laughs> I am blah, blah. And I couldn't figure <laughs> it out. And then, And then remember, everything, you know, Life's experiences isn't about acquiring knowledge. It's about remembering, okay? And a lot of things in life are always right in front of our face, but there's a veil there. And how I missed this one is beyond me, but it's just the beauty of how the universe works. And the 13th I am, lo and behold, was I am presence. And it's always been about the I am presence, but I just never saw it. So she spent four to six months writing and rewriting these mantras, and each with each rewrite, they became more powerful. So now nearing the completion of the, the mantras, I didn't know what I was going to create. And I was like, come on, guys, I need some help. So then 
so here's another little secret. Every everything in existence has what I call a true name. And if you know the true name of something, you can invoke its power. Now the true name of something can come in the form of a symbol. It can come in the form of a spoken word, a tone, a color, uh, imagery, a frequency, a vibe. And each one of the I am's had a symbol associated with it. And I scribbled them all down on a napkin and I got them over to my graphic artist <laughs> and they were they were brought they were born on a napkin. And with each I am had this amazing, powerful true name of that particular I am at the time. So, okay, now I've got these beautiful things. What am I going to do with them? And then pyramids popped into my head. Oh, my, pyramids. That's a whole two-hour conversation in itself. But I'll chunk it down and just say that pyramids have an awesome amount of power, and they are geometrically mm. perfect. So I had was given permission to marry the power of I am's onto pyramids. And lo and behold, on September 1st, 2017, 26 I am pyramids were born, 13 in copper, 13 in silver. And okay, right. now I had accomplished something even more amazing. What was what was going to be next? Well, a product that is being worked on very diligently and hard by me is called the I Am bracelets, and they will be coming in the few in the next few months. And there are 13 of them. And to my knowledge, I mean, I have 13 prototypes now. They are unbelievably powerful. So, from the time that we met back in October, I had alluded to some more products coming, and one of them was a charging plate. So I have been playing around with ideas for creating something. And I play around with ideas all the time in my head, but until I have solidified a name for the product, I actually don't know what the product is. So I kind of work backwards sometimes. And, you know, the, 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 the name Earth kept coming to me. And I'm like, I'm very familiar with Earth Energy. And, you know, um, I've, I've seen a lot of products out there that, that do a lot of different things. And the name Resonator came to me, and I was like, Earth Resonator. I was like, yeah, that sounds kind of new agey. Uh, don't really jive with that. And then the Latin term, or the Portuguese term, Terra, hit me. Terra Resonator had the name. So I have always taken bold new steps in different directions to – shatter the paradigm or the norm of what people think and I started thinking about creating a terror resonator I wanted to utilize some type of physical rocks and I didn't have a better word for them then because I'm always kind of you know poking fun at crystals and kumbaya and all that stuff <laughs> and you know, the, uh, and you actually helped me with this back in October. I, I couldn't remember the name of a particular rock I wanted. I was like, mold something. And you're like, mold device. I was like, yeah, that's it. So yeah. I, I set out to start creating the Terra Resonator. And, and you own one, Karen. You have one. You had one of the first prototypes mm -hmm. that rolled off the assembly line. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But I want to kind of explain in depth what this product does. It is a composite wood, 8.1 by 8.1 by uh, one and a quarter inches high, and it is it you w when you place it down, what it does is it draws up earth energy in these four circles underneath and puts them through a cylinder into these inverted pyramids on top. And in the pyramids, we have four of the I am symbols that resonate perfectly with the product. And in each four of these inverted pyramids, you have a beautiful piece of moldavite. So the energy comes up through the bottom, excites the moldavite, which then pushes the energy through these beautiful channels into the center. And in the center, there's a huge inverted pyramid with the four true names of earth, air, water, and fire. 
in the form of symbols. And right in the middle of that is a beautiful piece of jet, which is a very earthbound carbon material, beautiful to look at. And as the energy flows down into this inverted pyramid, it excites the jet. The jet pushes the energy up into the absolutely best of the best quartz crystal plate you can buy. And each Terra resonator comes with a 5 by 5 inch, quarter inch thick, lab grown quartz crystal of the highest purity. And when the energy starts flowing into the quartz crystal, the quartz crystal starts to vibrate like crazy. And the idea is... And again, this is a unlimited piece of technology, and it came into fruition faster than anything else I have ever created. Hmm. And whatever you place on the Terra Resonator within 30, 33 seconds is instantly vibrating at a higher level. So what kind of applications can you use that? Well, James was very instrumental in Creative. doing all kinds of cool things with it. So I, I did a couple tests, which are up on my YouTube channel. And the first one was simple. I took two glasses of water. I put one on the Terra Resonator for 33 seconds, and then I froze both of them. Came back about eight hours later, and clear as day, the one that was on the Terra Resonator had this beautiful funnel in the center that went to the top. And I highlighted that by shooting a green laser in there, and you can see the funnel. It's absolutely amazing. And the the glass of water that was next to the Terra Resonator kind of had a small little something going on. And then when the top froze, the top actually froze towards the Terra Resonator. It's pretty cool. And then mm. I proceeded with a coffee experiment. What I did was I took a cup of really high-grade Kona coffee beans and I put it on the Terra Resonator. And then I made two batches of Joe. Instantly, you could just tell it, it was it was the taste was like night and day, and then later that day, I went back and I tasted the regular Kona coffee, which is fabulous. It tasted like black. So the TR <laughs> is the latest product from the MDM team, and it will be rolling out this Thursday. Ooh, yeah, very exciting. I know when I put the um, my a friend of mine who's you know not into organic stuff and that kind of thing. But she, she got me a little, um, uh, uh, some chocolate, dark chocolate with uh, ginger. And I really love ginger, you know. So I said, okay, I'll share this with my family and uh, open them up. And I, I took I took two in my hand and I popped one in my mouth and it was like, I made this face like, Wah! like it was so sickeningly sweet. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I can't, I don't want to spit this out. It's so rude, you know. <laughs> I kind of swallowed it and I thought, the other one back for now. I don't think I really want to eat this right now, you know. So then I thought, well, this is great. I'm just going to see what happens with the Terra Resonator. So I put, you know, the chocolate on the Terra Resonator for 33 plus seconds, and then I ate it, and what was amazing was that that sickeningly sweet is gone, and um, and it tasted like, you know, more like smooth, like chocolate. I'm not a big chocolate fan. I like making chocolate for other people, but so it was much more palatable, and the ginger was more present, which is what I really wanted, you know, was the ginger part. So I thought that was really cool that it took away the sickeningly sweet taste. And James said that when he did his coffee, which, you know, I was like, hmm, it would be really great if he did that every day. Um, <laughs> and when he did his coffee, that it was less bitter. Like he puts all this like creamer, like like sugary creamer stuff in there. But I think it's because it's to get rid of the bitterness. But when he put it on there, he said there was no bitterness at all. So that was really, it, really neat. You know, it, it's really hard to quantify what the TR possibilities are because whenever I approach a new product, I'm approaching it with a first and foremost a childlike energy and the attitude that is unlimited, unbounded. There's nothing holding me back from creating perfection in, in whatever I decide to create whatever I set my mind to. And, you know, the, the applications of the TR are only limited by your imagination. I mean, okay, let's just take 
Um, w- women spend thousands of dollars on cosmetics that do different things externally. Okay, so let's say you have a face cream and you want to supercharge that face cream. You just put it on the TR and then you go use it. You have the ability to raise the vibration of anything that is placed on the field of the TR. And when something of a very high vibration comes into contact with something that vibrates lower, that lower thing is instantly vibrating at the level of the TR. And, you know, I, 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 can't, I, can't, I could go around for hours on the applications of it, but it is, it is big enough to put a plate of food on. It is big enough to put a cup of coffee on. It is big enough to to really tackle anything, you know, that you, of the size of the physical size of the TR. Now, why did I create this? A because I could, but B it's it, it's a step in a direction that has even more unlimited possibilities from from what I have been creating. So, you know, utilizing this type of technology, there are going to be many more products in the coming months um, from us that, you know, kind of use this, this, this same type of technology. And, you know, it, it's like any product launch. I get, and I've done 24 product launches in the last 24 months, mind you. I have been very busy. And <laughs> when, when, when you... You know, you get tongue-tied because I, you know, I I need to be very, very conscious about what I say about a product before it's launched. Because when 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 I do life coaching sessions with people or energy work with people, then they come to me and they say, "I'm a Reiki master. I'm a healer," and I'm talking about what they're saying about themselves. I'm a you know, so I think, okay, well, what is a Reiki master? And honestly, I don't even know. Well, what is a healer? I, I really don't know. Why? Because I can become anything I need to be in the moment because I have unlimited my thinking long ago, thereby unlimiting my potential. And when you classify yourself as something, you have limited your ability to be unlimited. So why do I get tongue-tied before we launch a product? Because it's very hard to describe an unlimited piece of technology to somebody. In the experience is where the true learning is. And, And when you experience a product that I create, you fully understand what they're capable of, not by the the beautiful pictures that I have taken of a product before the launch or the amazing words that, you know, describe what the product is or just the, the, you know, the amazing experience of you ordering it and actually receiving it. It's only in the experience of actually utilizing the product you fully understand its capability. Something like, you know, Aquaware. You know, you cannot fully understand Aquaware until you've experienced it. And only in that experience can you derive the true learning of something in the experience. So the TR is a bold new step in a whole other direction. And I am ultra excited to see these guys go off into the world and do amazing things for people. Oh, that is amazing. Well, we have a bunch of questions here. I know we have some in the chat, and we have some folks with their hand up. So in case you're wanting to ask Peter a question and you are calling in, the number to call in is, uh, and you want to call in, the number to call in is 818-514-1190. And uh, hit one on your dial pad so we know your hand's up. Again, it's 818-514-1190 and hit one. And uh, I have a couple of questions before we go to the other questions. Um, now, I know you talked about, you know, many of your products, it's really like unlimited based on your creativity and what you want to do with it. So it sounds like you could put, like, for example, a plate of food on the Terra Resonator, uh, and you could also put, you know, beauty cream on the Terra Resonator. But uh, is it better, I'm putting in quotes, <laughs> or more powerful if you put the beauty cream on the Terra Resonator and then say, this is what I want you to do with it? 
absolutely. you know, like have a specific intention. That's a great question. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, yeah. when, you, when you're utilizing these pieces of technology, there's really no right way and no wrong way. There's only the perfect way for you. So how I utilize it will be very different from how you utilize it. Although tips and tricks on both experiences can be shared commonly, you know, you'll find your niche, and when you find it, you'll accelerate in it. Mm-hmm. Well, and the, the cool thing about the Terra Resonator is that, um, you know, with the with the source and the Aquaware, uh, we charge water, whereas this doesn't necessarily require, require that whatever you put on it has water in it. Is that my understanding? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then the crystals are self clearing. I know some crystals need clearing uh, periodically. So I don't know about multiple. Just put them on there. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't have to like clear them separately or anything like that. You just you can keep them on there. It, it, they don't have to be cleared separately. Correct. Correct. All right. Cool. Uh, we have a question here on the chat. Uh, in uh, in addition to products, what type of Healing work do you do, Peter? Uh, you know, what's the healing session like? Do you specialize in particular areas, such as do you specialize in physical health or money, uh, career, et cetera? Thank you. So that's the question. So uh, uh, that's a great question, too. So, you know, coming full circle with being unlimited, I deal with everything. But let me be very clear. Um, each energy session I do with somebody is completely different. And typically the way it works is you'll you'll book your time and then we'll we'll set a time to have a session. And I don't want to know anything about it except you are in a comfortable space when we connect and you have a glass of water. And typically what will happen is we'll charge water together, you'll drink it, it will illuminate your physical body, your light body, and your immediately surroundings. And then I'm going to start telling you stuff about yourself that only you know. Okay, and then I'm going to tell you stuff that you don't know, and that's where things, you know, that's where the onion layers start coming back. Humans are like onion layers. Once we start peeling them back, there's a whole bunch of stuff there. And then Mm -hmm. typically, depending on which way the session's going, we do the great work, and that work involves running energy through your body, taking out everything that needs to go, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it requires a type of energetic surgery. And and believe me, and Karen, you know this, when you work with with people on the level that me and Karen and a lot of others play on, it is surgery. It's energetic surgery. And you are going to get tired after it and you will need to heal from it. So typically, you know, when I first started doing this this type of work once upon a time, I was this eight hundred pound gorilla. I had and still have this immense conduit back to source and I, I i all these people were coming to me with different issues and i knew i was clearing the issues but people weren't coming back and i was like well, what is going on what was happening was these people were detoxing so badly they they wouldn't come back and book another session so i had to change that business model <laughs> and uh, now you know i have refined that craft immensely over the years and now everything is very very laser focused and detoxing is at an extreme minimal um but you know it uh it is like energetic surgery so to answer your question there there really are three types of people that come to me there are people that know exactly what they want and then once we start talking the story changes and and then the great work gets done and then there's the second type are people that want to just just want to connect with me on some level and then the story builds from that and the third are people that just like to challenge me and and that's fine because they're paying for my time anyway so it's all good and um the story (laughs) unfolds there too so we you know we we really hit we hit it all wow so the products i know that um you know whatever to the highest good can happen as far as the healing and there's all these onion layers so uh, I know for, for James, his tendency is when he detoxes, that's a signal, is when he gets angry. And it's not a terrible anger, but it's just like, okay, we know what's happening. He's detoxing now. So are there certain symptoms that people could have potentially, or is that at a minimum as far as using any of the products, like the pyramids or the HFAs? So typically everything's going to make you detox. 
because products and services that are create and deliver vibrate at a very high level. So you're going to detox. Now, detoxing on the minimal side, you might not even notice it. If you do notice some detoxing, typically it could be a, a, a small skin rash. Your eyes could get red. You could feel a little lethargic. You could feel tired. Um, on the high end of the spectrum, you know, you could be in bed for a few days with flu-like symptoms. Now, that is very uncommon these days, but the minimal effects of detox um, can still happen, sure. Okay, okay. So we got a couple other questions here. I know this uh, uh, person has been waiting very patiently since the very beginning of the call, so I'm going to unmute you. Your uh, area code starts with 650. 650, so just say your first name. Hi, thank you for taking my call. My name is Miranda. Hey, Miranda. Hi, Miranda. Hi. Yeah, so I'm really intrigued by all of your products. I don't know a whole lot about it. And uh, so I was wondering with the, the Terra Resonator, could you, like, place your hand on it and then place, place one hand on it and then another one perhaps on a body part that you're trying to heal or rejuvenate? Would that work and set the intention? So that that is a a really fantastic question, and Mm -hmm. it is a a beautiful example of thinking outside the box. So the long and the short of it is, yes, that will work. And to to further back that up, James did a very interesting experiment where, and this is on a, a video on my YouTube channel you can go look at, where he actually placed his third eye over the Terra Resonator, and you know, he went on for 30 seconds or a minute to describe what was happening. And, you know, your statement and in, in, in fortitude of thinking outside of the box really invigorates me to create more of these and get them out in the world because that is a beautiful <laughs> way of thinking. You clearly are an unlimited being thinking way outside the box with a piece of technology that has not even been released to the public yet. So to answer your question, yes, it is possible, absolutely. Well, thank you. I'd love to meet you. Uh, I've been told I'm a healer, and that's my mission in life, and so I do think I think uh, I you're, <laughs> you're far more than that. <laughs> oh, Yeah, very well, cool, where, Miranda. Where, where are you based, Peter? I'm in Connecticut. Oh, okay, okay. So I think I'll have to book a session with you one of these days. Um, sure. That'll be awesome. Um, yes, so yeah, I was just wondering good. about the ne- the necklace also. I mean, you said that it, it filters away the negativity so that it doesn't affect any your body and stuff. And that's, mm-hmm. pretty, that's pretty cool. I was just like wondering what is the difference between just carrying around a stone uh, versus the necklace? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, like carrying a stone, around what? Like a stone that um, was removed, like, you know, look, in all honesty, everything that I create are really tools to aid you in mm-hmm. understanding or, more importantly, remembering that you are unlimited. Uh, and, you know, stones are, are, are really amazing tools, okay? Mm-hmm. But here's the problem, okay? And I want to be clear about this. Like water, it all has memories yep. of everywhere it's ever been. Okay, And unless you properly clear the water, like we use water prep, which clears all the memories from the water, unless you know how to clear that stone, it still has all the cosmic junk and memories from everywhere it's ever been. Something mm-hmm. like the HFA Mini has no memories. It's pure copper and pure silver. So it is ultra effective at what it does because that's what it was created to do. So the difference, you know, is really proof in the pudding. Uh, Don't take my word for it. Go to the website, moderndaymystic.com, watch Mm -hmm. the testimonials, read the testimonials, and and, and that's all of your beautiful experiences, you know, beautiful collective experiences Mm -hmm. using this type of technology. Sounds wonderful. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look you up and uh, would love to meet with you and chat. This, this is just fascinating to me. I, I, I love this stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks so much, Miranda. We for live question. it and breathe it all the time. Thanks, Miranda. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you know, somebody else, uh, I think it was Kim that had a 
uh, Kim or Ashley, I can't remember uh, which one of my light warriors, had a great idea too. She says, well, why don't you put, uh, you know, the person, James was having this, this back pain thing, and I'll ask you another question related to that. But um, And, and uh, she said, well, why don't you put uh, James's picture on the Terra Resonator, you know? Uh, well, Ooh, that works. That's so a, so there's that's another great idea. Peter. <laughs> you know, why not, better right? yet, better yet, why not? Why not take a photograph of the area of the pain and put that on the terror resonator? Because remember something, the universe doesn't understand 10 different ideas. It understands intent. And the more, so, so let me bring this, kind of bring this full circle. In Aquaware 5, I give people the power to write their own intention. Okay. Now people can write anything and it doesn't, doesn't mean the universe is going to deliver it. So what do I do? I take your alpha characters and I limit you to a certain amount. I think it's 200 characters. And I give you a bunch of examples of how to write those intentions. And when you write those intentions, okay, that intention is washed through three levels of an algorithm that derive an integer, okay? The simpler you make your intention the more effective it is, okay? And and that integer is a mathematical perfection that everything in existence communicates through. Everything communicates through the language of mathematics. So taking your blah, blah, blah and giving you a beautiful alpha, you know, a beautiful number, you then consciously direct that in the water. So what, why am I giving you this example? Because it's an example of a very clear and focused intention. There are no mistakes in mathematics. Okay? So when you come to me and say, hey, how about we put a picture of James on the Terra Resonator, that is an amazing idea. I would have never thought of it, and thank you for sharing that. But instantly when you said that, I was like, okay, how can we chunk this down a little bit and get it even more refined? Take a picture of the area that maybe that he's having an issue with and put that on there and, you know, honor the yeah. space and then put your focus back on the area and see what happens. You see, these are all amazing ideas because you are all – thinking outside the box. So remember, you know, as humans, we create our own little perfect world and we exist within the confines of this box our entire lives. And just outside, you know, our five senses is in a whole multitude of realities that re-age around us all the time. And that is where the magic is. So, you know, just by raising the vibration on this, on this beautiful call, we're already, you know, these amazing ideas are all already coming out, and you know the product's not even available yet, so it's it's all good. Yeah, it's a great, great idea. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's very good, and it and what's really neat is that um, because, uh, like I said earlier, like James isn't much of a computer person, so to have a physical product, I think this is the first time I've given him like any sort of you know energy infused necklace that he's worn consistently because it gives him feedback and that is like an amazing stroke of genius because as as uh you know as an energy healer and doing what I do sometimes it can be a little hard because it's like my loved ones don't do my stuff or they don't know what I'm doing or you know like and, and I'm like okay it's not your role to heal that person you know and it's tough for people you know, like me to, to just witness you know somebody suffering um, and it's, who's to say, you know, that, that if they did my stuff, it would work. Um, but, you know, I kept getting the message, you know, this past week when he was in so much pain that there was, uh, it was like the God team's like, no, you know, you're not allowed to do that. He's got to do something. And I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> you, know, <I'll> relate <laughs> it. you know, and so we reached out, you know, we had Kathy Homer do, you know, healing on him. We had our light doing healing on him. You did a mini reading and healing on him. And well, and that was my other question was that uh, that you had um, checked in and um, saw, you know, clairvoyantly like this energy vampire thing stuck to his um, third thoracic, you know, vertebrae. And my thought was that, you know, since he's doing now this, you know, high vibrational energy stuff, is this becoming like revealed, you know, because it wasn't, 
Like in in one in, in one sense, like somebody says, well, gee, if you're wearing you know the necklace and you're doing the tarot resonator, like why do you have a vamp stuck to you, right? But on the other hand, my my sense is that something's being revealed that needs to you know be even honored in their space, like that they exist in order to release. So what's your take on on that? So here's the Achilles heel to all energy work. It doesn't matter who you are, where you vibrate, or what you do. There's always one Achilles heel that binds us all. And that simply is, <clears throat> was it in his greatest good to experience that? Now, right. you that can come in many forms. So let's, let's use the Merck Compass Rose for an example. I explicitly state, without any shadow of a doubt, that once you link the Merc Compass Rose to your land, it is not possible for anything to exist within the field that the rose projects that vibrates lower. Okay? That's a pretty bold and a very clear statement. And 99.9% of the time, that's exactly what it does. But there is a 0.01 percentage where something happens. Okay? And what is that something? And it... it it, it can you can put any spin on it you want. You can use any any words to create three pages of diatribe. Doesn't matter. Okay, it's the Achilles heel of all light workers, and it's actually something beautiful because it's always a learning experience for the person involved and the person that created. And that simple rule is: if there is something that the person needs to experience, no matter if it vibrates higher or lower or anywhere in between, nothing under universal law will um, allow, uh, or say not allow that to happen under the influence of a higher vibrational product. So in the instance with James, you know, you called me the other day or sent me a text and said, hey, you know, he's got some back pain. Could it be because of A, B, and C? And I put my attention on him and instantly saw something pulling his life force from his third vertebrae. So in the moment, I gave you a very simple recipe. You're going to use lemon juice, I believe organic cinnamon. You're going to boil it in 200 milliliters of water, and and you drink it once or twice a day, and, and typically it's gone as fast as it came in. Now, that is my reality. That is my truth. That is That is how I roll. Someone else might see it as something. But who, it, it's just a beautiful gift how everyone interprets something differently. But but the point of the matter is something was there that came in, possibly under the radar, was there all along. And as you said, only got revealed through you know three or four different people doing their talent or whatever they do to show it. And I have said since the beginning of when I started this great work, and I'll always say it again, humans are onions. We have multitudes of layers. And as layers get peeled back, it it reveals deeper things. Now, for me, you know, I was born with the gift of sight the day I woke up. I see energy in everything. You You can have an issue in your life, that you go to a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a healer, seeker, or shaman, and they deal with what I call the attachment. That's what physically manifests on the surface. I don't play there. I go right to the root cause, and the root cause is what causes these attachments to surface. And once the root cause is removed, then your life is beautiful. Now, that root cause could be four, five, six, ten onion layers in. And it just depends how how we get there. So, the, anyways, the, the moral of this tangent kind of comes back as the Achilles heel of all healers is, you know, in the experience that something needs to be experienced. You will not be able to stop it ever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's, that's you a, can that's draw beautiful. strength from it by understanding why it happened. So, so he, he, right. here's a here's a here's a beautiful example. The truth shall set you free. That's complete (laughs) horseshit. Facing the things that cannot be undone shall set you free. So, for instance, okay, imagine a room that's pitch black. There's no doors. There's no windows. It's just black. What happens when you turn on the brightest light? The darkness goes away. Point in case is the darkness cannot exist within the light. 
I'm sorry, mm-hmm. the light can always exist without the darkness. Now you have a room that's filled with bright light. Is there any way any darkness can be in there? Absolutely not. So the light can always exist without the darkness. The truth shall set you free. Baloney. Facing the things that cannot be undone shall set you free. So people come to me all the time and say, I'm stuck. I'm unable to move forward because of something in your past. Now we have past, present, and future represented. Something in the past is keeping me stuck in the present, not giving me the ability to roll into the future. Okay, well, let's look in your past. And one thing is very important to understand. You cannot change your past ever. But you can face the things that cannot be undone shall set you free. So when you look back in your life at some black mass, something scary as hell, gives you creepy jeebies, something you were involved with, something you did, doesn't matter. And it creates this guilt, envy, whatever, to keep you stuck in the present, thereby limiting you to move forward. You know, based on that room doctrine, that in that black mass, there is a pinprick of light. And if you find that pinprick of light, you can draw strength from it, thereby dissipating the mass of blackness, freeing you up in the present to move forward in the future. The truth shall not set you free. You can tell everybody the truth. Who cares? You're still stuck in the past. I'm sorry, you're still stuck in the present by that black mass in the past. Facing that black mass and finding that pinprick of light, facing it, Facing mm-hmm. the things that cannot be undone, your past cannot be changed, shall set you free. Taking and drawing strength from that light in the present will allow you to move forward in the future. Yeah, I think the facing part is uh, really tough for some folks for sure because they just get mired down in all that emotion. So there's all these different ways of... of uh, oh, I know. You know. I cheated on my wife. I cheated on my it. husband. I yeah. told the truth. I have absolution. Horseshit. No, you don't. Facing the things <laughs> that cannot be undone shall set you free. Okay, we have another question here, uh, area code 917. Just uh, say your first name before you ask your question. Hi there. Hi, it's Gabrielle. Hi, Gabrielle. Hi. Is this me? Hi. I am so curious. I have a few of Peter's products in my home, two pyramids, the Rosemary Compass, and, oh, yeah, two mini compass HFA. Mer compass rose. I know. My husband corrects me all the time, but I'm the one who buys <laughs> the spiritual stuff. <laughs> you see, I can't even remember how it's called. So, but I do not notice any difference. Okay, and, which product? I, I just want you to check in, in. Did I activate them correctly? Okay, so, you know, one thing I'm very adamant about is simplicity in using a product. So mm-hmm. in the, you know, in, in, in activating the Merc Compass Rose, right, you simply put your attention, you know, you follow the directions, you turn the coupler rink around uh, 360 degrees, you have the alignment with, with north, you can use any smartphone with a free compass program to find north, and then you put your attention on your land, and then you honor it, and I honor the space in which you exist, and it's done. That's how simple it is. With the pyramids, the pyramids have a 24-hour 24, 24 acclimation period, meaning you can take them out of the box and you want to uh, put one of the corners towards a wall and just let it sit there for 24 hours. And then you want to put your attention on it, and then you want to put your attention on the symbol, close your eyes, and in your mind's eye you utter those words, I honor the space in which you exist. And each product has a very specific sequence in in activating it now that's true for 90 percent of the people okay there is 10 percent and you're obviously one of them that the products are working as advertised but you're not noticing the effects of it and that can come in a couple different forms one they're working very subtly so your conscious mind isn't picking up on it and you know it is spoken earlier in the show it's very very important to keep that creative consciousness behind the products going. So if you, for one second, step outside your comfort zone and put your attention on one of your pyramids, on the Merc Compass Rose or any of the HFA products that you own, and say, okay, baby, talk to me. 
watch what happens. Watch what happens. The conscious creation will come instantly to attention and start talking to you. And a lot of the times people have referred to it as an in uh, an, a language that they don't understand. And that is beautifully perfect and on time because that is the language of the universe. It's vibration. And, and as you start to interact with that conscious creation, those words or those sounds start to take form. And when they take form, it's very childlike, okay? It's very childlike. And the, child, the, the childlike energy never goes away. That's where part of the creative magic happens. And once you start that dialogue, then you can direct these products to amp it up or, or slow it down or do whatever you need to be done. So, for instance, if you have the, the pyramid, I am peaceful, and thing, you're feeling disruptions throughout your day, then connect with that conscious creation behind the product and say, you know, start the dialogue. Everything begins with dialogue. And once the, the fundamental foundation for language is established, and only you know when it is because it's different, because we're all chemically different, so we all interpret information differently, then you can start dialing in the products to get maximum impact from them. Mm-hmm. Make sense? That's very helpful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because I have not been communicating with my device. But... Yeah, the dialogue hey, is really, little... really That's important. What I thought, hmm. The dialogue yeah, so is like having is a friend, usually, a new friend. Ah, absolutely. You know, I, there, there's there's grown adults that post or send me these these, these video testimonials that their HFA minis, their new best friend, their new bestie. You know, <laughs> and and that that is a you know that is a testament that they are they are getting maximum impact with the products because. You know, only in the experience does the real learning begin. And that experience is that childlike communication that you have. And it is just, you know, a, a, a child sees the world as magic up until about the, the age of 10 months when the conditioning starts. We teach it the, you know, we teach them to eat, the dress, and then they go to school and blah, blah, blah. And over time, we lose touch with our roots, which is really a truly beautiful, magical world. And these products are just getting back the basics. And, you know, once the, once the connection is formed, uh, you know, the magic just rolls. Is that helpful, yeah. Gabrielle? Oh, that is super helpful. Thank you so much to both of you. You're oh, welcome. Oh, you're Thank very, you. very welcome. Oh, we got some more folks with questions. And I was just going to, you know, when you were talking earlier, Peter, about that, you know, imagination, creativity, and, you know, I, I know when I, you know, teach my Light Warrior Boot Camp uh, about, you know, people doing manual clearings of their home and they think about their land, um, I know this is a learning that I had to learn through my own personal experience because I was like, what the heck is going on? Why am I still getting ghosts on my house? And what it was was the, the universe wanted me to understand that when I picture my land, I need to picture underneath my house and the actual land all the way down to the center of the earth because we found in some people's land, like spaceships, 80 miles deep, you know, underneath their house that's still affecting them. That is a a beautiful example. Yeah, that creativity of going, oh, when I think of my land, I only thought about the surface of my land, you know, like I didn't think about (laughs) all of it above me. Then we found spaceships above people's houses affecting them. I'm like, seriously, guys, you know. So it was like this, then I had to imagine this huge column, you know, all the way up, all the way around, everything and everyone in that land, down beneath, inside the house, through the house, down to the subtle energy level. You know, I was like, okay, I'm getting all of this now. And then that finally started to work. So, you know, uh, Gabriella, maybe, you know, you might want to also, you know, consider that. But um, I love that, you know, when you're talking about that that creativity and um the innovation is why we're human, you know, in this lifetime is to experience and to play and to, you know, use that beautiful imagination, which other cultures, like alien cultures, really love that about us, you know, because we are yeah, so emotive, absolutely. we are so creative. Yeah, yeah, so, so cool. Okay, so next person, area code 781. Hello. 
Hi. Hi. Who's this? Hi. My name is Christine. Hi, Christine. Hi, Peter. Um, hi, Karen. Um, I have a question. I've been listening to this, and I am, like, I just have the question about what you were just talking about, the the past and letting go. I am someone who has been dealing with an awful lot of um, life issues, huge issues. And um, Okay, so stop, stop had, right there, Christine. Yeah. Word choice is extremely important, okay? Okay. I have been trying to let go, okay? Mm -hmm. There's nothing to let go. And if you're trying, quote, unquote, you're stuck in neutrality. So when you're Mm -hmm. speaking to the effects of something that you want to better in your life, be very conscious about word choice. I'm sorry, continue. Okay. And I've had many clearings from many, um, you know, uh, light workers and energy people and Nothing seems to help. I'm just stuck. I can't see beyond, like, to move up on anything. I, and I have no connection to source. And I, So I'm really, like, I'm frightened at this point um, because I'm, I can't understand why well, this is first happening. No, first know that there's nothing really to be scared of. Everything is as it should be, and it's absolutely perfect. Okay? You are where you are first and foremost, because you signed up for it. But second of all, it's always in divine perfection. Now, you again, word choice, because you, you heard what I said when I, the first time I so rudely interrupted you, but then you went right back into a trained mode and you used other words, okay, different words. So, you know, know this, you're not stuck the power to move forward is always within you. And it's just, you know, and, and, and sometimes in life you have to go to 10 different people to find out, you know, what you're doing wrong, if anything. Mm-hmm. You know, it, yeah. it, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of throw this out there. You know, I, I don't advertise. And, mm-hmm. I, and I, I did once upon a time, and I got a, uh, you know, when I had my wake-up experience, I was creating Aquaware, and, and I was screaming, you know, from the tops of trees, oh, my God, you know, I can program water anywhere in existence, past, present, or future, utilizing the power of a microprocessor. And I, had, I did these banner ads, and people were like, man, you're crazy. Go back, whatever. So it was a backlash. So then I readjusted my business model, and I said, okay, I'm going to concentrate 150% of my efforts on product development and people's experiences using the products. And and what happened is over time the products became wildly successful, okay? I still don't advertise because I don't want to and I don't need to. And 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 when people kind of stumble into me, what they typically find is I am the last train stop before they go off the cliff because they've done everything else and nothing has worked, okay? Mm-hmm. You know, Karen, um, Kathy, and, and, and others have very, very beautiful skill sets that come in the time when it's perfect. So, so for instance, you know, you can go to 10 different people and they don't do anything for you. Why? Because there's no energetic contract. Any energy work that happens in the universe requires a contract. And only when the time and the place for that great work to be done and that contract is executed will you get the results that you are looking for, always. Mm-hmm. So okay. just know that you are loved by all of the universe, where you are is absolutely perfect for your experience. And if you so choose to move forward, that power is always within you to do so. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess that's yeah. that's the part that I'm stuck with, <laughs> that I just keep, I, I'm thinking, <laughs> Well, that's why there's people like me, Karen me. and Kathy. We can help you out with that. <laughs> Well, yeah, and I have, like, yeah, I've tried so many sessions that that's exactly what I'm, you know, what's bothering me well, because I know it. there's that's something it, I should be doing. You mm-hmm. have tried so many sessions. 
Mm-hmm. Whenever you yeah. try anything in life, you're stuck in neutrality, man. You can't move forward. You're the hamster on the wheel. You just go around in circles. You're the catch-22. Word choice is so important. I am mm. not stuck. I am moving forward. Get it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you right, Christine. I know that was a big jump for, for Christine, and, um, you know, it's it's some of the training. And, and this, you know, it takes definitely some uh, support. Um, you know, I just launched relaunched my Unlock Your Superpowers uh, program last week, and, you know, uh, one of the modules, we really addressed some of this languaging issue and our perceiving or what I call re-perceiving, you know, uh, our realities and our past and things like that. And uh, so everyone gets a chance to, like, support each other on – their stories, you know, our stories keep propagating uh, these things. And just because we don't, quote, unquote, notice that there's a change or difference does not mean that it's not happening. <laughs> In fact, uh, you know, one of the people on the call the other day, you know, was, we were, I was doing this little abundance assessment, and I said, it's just a kind of a rough guide just to give us some information. And um, for this particular person, she's like, well, what's preventing me from stepping into my power? She's done all this work and everything like that. Well, we found out 70% was just what I call universal timing, which means that everything's good. You did good work. You just have to wait. That's all. (laughs) And she was so pleased to know that because she had done all this work, but it gave her a sense of peace. Like, oh, yeah, you know, for somebody else, you know, it would be that, hey, they, they have some of what I call abundance challenges and they have not done their homework yet. Do you know what I mean? And there, that's some information like, okay, I, I need to, you know, I could really do this kind of homework that I've been avoiding, you know, and this could be one of them, like just shifting our language even. Uh, and it takes so much consciousness to be able to do that. So, yeah. Okay, well, let, I think we have time for one more person. Let me see if I can. Okay, uh, 717, area code 717. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Tina. Hi. Um, I re- oh, recently, yeah. actually, my my boyfriend um, had got shot this last Saturday, and now he has oh, a broken shit. femur. And I was wondering if there's any kind of healing that maybe I could suggest because I'm now a caretaker, so it's sort of <laughs> reflecting on me also. And also maybe mm-hmm. how to get out of this energy. I'm, I live such a positive, and now I'm almost in fear because they haven't caught the person, and it's really not nice <laughs> and I know my words matter so I keep on trying to change it but it's just not any suggestion Karen I got a couple uh, well, Go yeah. <laughs> I was saying, first first of all uh, what, what's your um, what's your boyfriend's first name Mike Mike okay well first of all we're going to actually find who that did did that for Mike and we as in like me and the God team we're going to depossess the entities of that person so right now we're just putting a bubble around him so there's no need for you to be I know afraid. he did it was a fr- it was a friend of ours actually that we opened our house and our heart opened he's a veteran and he showed up and just in his garage and just like was waving his gun around and ended up shooting him in the head and in the mm. leg and I just don't, I mean, I can't understand it because like he, he gave me his motor, uh, extra motorcycle. I mean, this guy, and I just want to give him a hug. sounds like no he, because of, he's a veteran, so he has definitely yeah. gone through a lot of good. crap. And so entities are probably part of it. I would probably bet money on that. So I, okay. I just want you not to worry about it. Now, we had two, just so you know, we had two murder felons. Escape from Dannemora Prison. In fact, Ben Stiller is doing a movie, uh, a TV movie on on the whole prison escape thing. Anyway, the whole our whole towns. We normally don't lock our doors. Everybody was freaking out except me. And <laughs> so, but then after a while, I realized everybody was freaking out, and I'm like, well, maybe I should do something, right? So I went ahead and tapped in. We depossessed them both. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, mm-hmm. well, then then almost within 24, 48 hours, somebody was seen by the police, uh, unfortunately they shot and killed one person, and then I said to the universe, okay, if we could do this without somebody dying, uh, that would be my preference. So that person ended up being a ghost attached to the second guy. Then when I depossessed the second guy again, the second time, Mm. uh, they caught him again within 24 hours, and they did not kill him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, But that's that's my whole thing, right. Yeah, so I'm going to let Peter talk now because we're running out of time, but I don't want okay, you to I'm worry sorry, about I'm that. Sorry. Okay, thank That's you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I... 
<laughs> Peter, we got four minutes left. The, the 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 one thing I would just do is, um, you know, put your attention. Whether it was intentional or not, they both need healing. Yeah. Regardless of yeah. what happened. So. Yeah. You know, what you want to do is commune both of their energies, and it's really simple. You, in your mind's eye, you just create white paper. Okay. Right? Just white paper. And then from the left, and there is no victims and there is no perpetrator, okay? There's only right. healing. So right. you you take the the person that was shot and bring them in from the left onto the silhouette, and you take the person that pulled the trigger in from the right into the silhouette. And then when you both have them on the silhouette, you simply, you don't crumple the paper, but you create an egg from it, okay? And okay. then they're both inside the egg. And then you put your attention on the egg and you repeat those words, I honor the space in which you exist and it transmutes back to the light. And that vibration from that beautiful act will heal both of them. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Thank you Beautiful. so much. Because they, uh, yeah, I just want healing for them. I don't want any harm or you know. I just he's exactly. broken soul, obviously. So thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful. Thanks You're for welcome. calling in. All right. Well, Peter, uh, I want to make sure people know how to connect with you. Uh, so moderndaymystic.com. Um, you can check out Peter's products, and then if you get on his newsletter mailing list, you will get to find out. The minute <laughs> the Terror Resonator is available, uh, hopefully Thursday, right, uh, for sale if you're interested in that. Um, and also you can, if you want to book some sessions with Peter, you can also do it at moderndaymystic.com. And uh, there, he also has some workshops that he's done before, recorded workshops that you may want to check out as well on his website. So, Peter, any last words that you would like to share with the folks on the line today? I had a lot of fun with you, Karen. This was a... Uh... This is a very good, I think this was by far the best interview, and we've interviewed each other quite a few times over the years, but I think um, the interaction between us today was definitely spot on. Really high vibe, great information rolling from both of us. Um, You know, I don't know where any of this is going. I, I really don't. I don't pretend to. I just know that I'm having... So much fun creating and helping. Yeah, it's unbelievable, yeah. and you know, it is fun. The, just the, it really is. And the, <clears throat> you know, having, you know, there there are a lot of people in this field, obviously, and I think I know that there are are, are very few trailblazers that actually push forward in new directions with new ideas and and not regurgitating, you know, the stuff that everyone else is and you are certainly a testament to that and and am I and as a, are are others and I think, you know, those those people we all kind of need a pat on the back once in a while to just say, <laughs> hey, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Awesome, Peter. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is so great. Uh, Thanks, everyone else, as well, for listening in, calling in with your questions on the chat. Uh, Until next time, lots of love. Bye, Peter. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.